Welcome to Gambling with an Edge. And now, here are Bob and Richard. Good afternoon. Welcome to Gambling with an Edge. We have three guests tonight talking about a very famous somebody who isn't here. Michael Kaplan is a famous gambling writer that we've had on several times. And he's going to be on again shortly because we've recently done another interview with him that hasn't aired yet. He's here somewhat as an interpreter and a facilitator. In addition, as a facilitator and interpreter, we have Laurie Chang, who has been a guest on our show. You might know her as the wife of John Chang of the MIT Blackjack fame, and among other things. And Kelly. Kelly is a Chinese woman who ex has extremely good eyesight. They all worked with a big player named Phil Ivey on what is known as edge sorting. And that's what we're going to talk about. Michael, Kelly, and Lori, welcome to Gambling with an Edge. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Before Thank we you. talk about these topics, we're taping this uh, six days before the show. We're taping this on Friday, April 7th. And today we just heard that Billy Walters was convicted in New York of insider trading. And I did not know Billy. He's a hero of mine for being able to kick the uh, casinos in the butt. And I'm, I have no idea what the evidence was against him other than what I read in the papers. I was disappointed that he got convicted. Richard. I was a little bit surprised that he got convicted, uh, not because of the evidence, which seemed pretty overwhelming to me, but... He is a pretty wily guy, and I would not be surprised if if the end of all this, after however many appeals, he ends up getting out of it. So I was a little bit surprised. You know, he also, he's been around a long time, and he knows where a lot of bodies are buried. He knows a lot of very powerful people in the state of Nevada. And uh, so, although... On the other hand, you know, if Martha Stewart can go to jail for, for the same crime, uh, it would be possible. I actually interviewed him for Smart Money magazine, which the Wall Street Journal used to publish. Um, it was probably about 15 years ago. But he agreed to do – I mean, he, he certainly talked about sports betting and the correlations between sports betting and Wall Street, which is what the – what we were really interested in, but he also talked, and there were like no promises made about the content, and he also talked about, you know, getting beaten up in the stock market, and that the stock market is way more crooked than Vegas, you know, by his estimation, and um, he, the story came out, and he and a, some other sports bettors were in there, and it was really about, you know, sports bettors, you know, betting the way guys trade on Wall Street, and he was um, not that thrilled. I mean, he called me. He said that you know he didn't. He wished there was more stuff about Wall Street. And I'm like, well, you know, that's how these stories go. And he kind of ended it with saying, "Have a nice summer." And he hung up. And I'm like, whoa, <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? But it means you're not going to get another interview with Billy Walters, is what it means. Well, there's that. But he's. Um, I don't know. Again, yeah, he's a guy you have to buy. His great line to me was, he talked about the old days when he was a big sucker in casinos. He goes, when you walk into a casino and all you see are teeth, you know you're in trouble. Because everybody see him very smiling. All the casino hosts and the management is smiling to see him. He goes, you know you're in trouble. So I, I thought he, he was a really cool guy to me. One of the things that I, I was really uh, surprised that an article I saw today that he's apparently good friends with Carl Icahn. Um, yeah. which, which that kind of surprised me. I didn't expect that. All right, let's talk about Ed sorting at Bakra. For this to work, as I understand it, you need several conditions. Number one, cards have to be non-symmetrical, meaning the player with very good eyes could distinguish the north side of the card being up from the south side of the card being up. Number two, the casino has to be talked into letting you see the cards and at your request, turns some of the cards north side up and leave the others south side up. Three, the casino has to use an automatic shuffle machine where the cards were thoroughly shuffled but not rotated. Four, the cards have to be reused over and over again. And fifth, which is something peculiar to your particular situation, the dealer had to speak Mandarin. Now, those were the conditions. 
Um, Although I would just say they don't have to use an automatic shuffling machine. As long as they don't rotate them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, so first the non-symmetrical cards. Well, actually, before we get into that, okay, um, your backstory was really pretty incredible about before you started playing with an advantage, you apparently lost a lot of money uh, before all this happened, right? Oh, yes. And uh, do you want to tell the story then about what made you decide you really wanted to go after the casinos when apparently you, you got arrested? By the because of the casinos. Oh yes, uh, I come to America first. Uh, my father deposited half million, um, and uh, MGM and win. Like uh, two two months, I lost all. You lost all yeah. half a million. And then uh, I order MGM hundred thousand marker. This this marker is um, uh, my friend. He she lost like one million. I have a uh, hundred thousand marker. I send it to her. She play. She lost. And then after I go back to Paris, six months after I came to American, they raised me. They say uh, all the marker. And then I find that uh, my friend, she now paid this marker. And then I stayed in Las Vegas jail for three weeks. Three weeks you were in jail. Yeah, three weeks. Uh, my friend Eddie go to see me. I say. Wow, so Eddie, I'm so hungry. Can you please put a fifty dollar for me? He told me no, Kelly. I will send a eight deck shoe uh, car. This, this uh, play car. Uh, she told me. Uh, he told me. He said, Kelly, when I send the money for you, you will uh, eat. You sleeping. I give you this deck car. You you count the car, and then you come out. You will uh, very good for the counting. And then I just three weeks. I've um, and the jail every day. I. The time I don't know how do you mm, do the I should I just uh, count blackjack. So uh, you use the three weeks to learn how to count cards. Yeah. This good friend of yours wouldn't give you fifty dollars for food. <laughs> yes. But he just gave you cards but, uh, and told uh, you to three practice. Three weeks I lost twenty one pounds. <laughs> <laughs> you could have eaten the cards. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice guy. <laughs> it's Eddie. Uh, Eddie. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right. I, th- I think we're gonna. Hit- I think we're going to talk more about Eddie as the <laughs> as the evening goes on. So, these cards, they're not symmetrical. The edges are different. Mm-hmm. Um, now, you were playing with the Jamako cards that were purple. Uh, Jimiko. Jimiko, mm-hmm. good. Are there a lot of brands of cards that you could have used, or were those the special ones? No special. Uh, I can use all the cards. Not only Jimiko. So, Just a... Uh, um, all the band, um, all the car I can I can use. Yeah, it's not only Jimmy Go. So most cards in casinos today are, you can see the difference between the sides. Oh yes. Now, you're uh, thirty years younger than me, but you're no longer in your twenties. <laughs> so when you get older, your eyesight worsens. But uh, right now my eyes is good. I check every month. Every month I go check my eyes. Twenty fifty. Uh, Good. Two, yeah. Do you do eye exercises or eye vitamins or no, I just, never. That's just uh, how I you work. <laughs> <laughs> no. I actually Bob, I think I would just say that um I think you are overestimating how good the eyesight needs to be. If uh not my eyes like uh she says at night, her eyes are like that of a uh, owl's eyesight. It will it will shine, and she can see sharper vision. At night, she feels like she has an eyesight out, like an owl catching li- ma- mice. <laughs> That's why I'm the, the, I always play Nathan. In the 20 years, I play Guivia or Serene Shift, day, day Shift, and daytime, I don't want to play. So you see better at night. Oh, yes. But inside the casino, you can't tell what time of day it is. No, I uh, mean, your watch will tell no, you. No, but it's uh, um, but you the, know my feeling. Uh-huh. Well, oh, good. Do you eat a lot of mice? No, never mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, now, the casino <laughs> has to let you see the cards, and then you rotate some of them at your instructions. 
you had them deal four cards before you placed your bet. You, you called this the Macau way. Did you invent the Macau way, or is this the way it's actually done in Macau? This is Macau style. So in Macau, they bring out all four cards and leave them face down, so you yes, can see. Yes, even all- right now, like uh, in Caesar Paris, there's still four card down you can play. Okay, so, so they're still doing this now at yeah. Caesar's Palace. Very good. Well, that yeah. makes the game a whole lot and then, better. And uh, then Lucky Dragon. <laughs> Lucky Dragon, yeah. which is a new casino the, the, on Sahara the, the, the that just opened up. Still put a four card down. You can play. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Do they let you play? <laughs> the uh, never mind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, is getting the casino to use an automatic shuffle machine was that difficult, or would they say, "Sure, no problem"? Almost all casinos use automatic shufflers for baccarat. It's very rare to find a hand okay. shuffled baccarat game anymore. Then change the question. In Bakra, usually they use the cards and people wrinkle them up and they throw them away. Mm-hmm. But you wanted to use the same cards over and over again. No, but uh, most casinos they have a mini Bakra. Yes. Mini Bakra. Let's say um, Blaju area. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's automatic. They have a, a mini Bakra. I just deposit money and just go to play like area. I first play area, uh, first day I deposit hundred thousand, I lost. They know uh, who I am. They don't care. I lost because they just want to take a free roll. Second day, deposit half a million. My friend name, in like a forty million, forty million. And we won the one point three million, one point two. I forget. But you know, they just uh, thinking this money you deposit. Casino always thinking is. Uh, you deposit them one million or three million. This is automatic. You lost. You know when you request, you say I need a Chinese dealer. I need a um, uh, four card down. They say okay, no problem. Any request, just they see the money. You know, I right. I it's normally I don't need a uh, Chinese. Don't speak Chinese or English, French, any language. No problem. I can I can do, but. Uh, for me, I like it. Um, sometimes I like talking to dealer, speak Chinese. Uh huh. It's just like a little bit with us, you know. As I, I don't, I speak a uh, Chinese uh, better than, of course, better than English. Uh huh. I don't need to talk to dealer. Say, oh, you have to um, turn the car for me. I can say. I don't need to say this. I just say, oh, uh, I'm superstition. You just, uh, uh, I don't want to open the car. You open for me. Let me see. You know. This is automatic. I don't have to teach a dealer. Hey, I have to see this car. You have to turn this way, this way. No, I don't need it. People, they run. They're thinking, I need to speak Chinese. I go to French. I speak French. I go to uh, Korea. Korea people don't speak English, not Chinese. You don't need to speak. I, I want to be Vietnam. Same. They speak Vietnamese, not Chinese. I still, I still do the same. So you just... Somehow you're able to communicate to them which direction to turn the card on. Oh, yes. Side to side mm-hmm. or top to bottom. Uh, sometimes, you know, most dealer, even Chinese, I say, can I see, you know, not every dealer that kind of smart. You, you want to, you say, give me see the car. They just turn away. I cannot teach in the table teacher. Oh, you have to do this way for me. No. If a dealer not that kind of smart, Sometimes I just say, oh, let me see. Dealer, you say, oh, I say, uh, mm, give me see. They just turn away this way. With yeah. she- it's not every dealer that, mm, smart, you know. Sometimes I just change, 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 change. Right. Some dealers mess, yeah, mess, mess you up, even car, though yeah. you're trying to explain to mm-hmm. them how to turn the cards You over. cannot, and the table, yeah. explain to dealer, you have to do this way for me. You have to do cannot. I just, uh, oh, if dealer, this dealer no good, I just, oh, can you change him? Give me a different yeah, dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, on mini Baccarat, you don't get to touch the cards, yeah, and don't they don't change them. They keep the same ones mm-hmm. in there. No, the eight hours they change. Eight hours. Yeah, I, yeah. Every shift they change. The shift. When I when I first met Kelly, that was what struck me as being so ingenious about this play that she didn't even touch the cards. The casino did all the work for her, and I was like, "Whoa, this is like a special situation." Well, you know, when I first heard about the play. Uh, Bill Zender wrote an article about it, 
and he described it. He didn't mention any names. He just mentioned some people were playing this way, and I read it, and I didn't believe the article. I said, this is ridiculous. No casino is going to allow you to do, you know, you're going to ask them, turn the card this way, no, turn it that way, I'm superstitious, and I thought, that's absurd. No casino is going to do that. No, I mean casino that do. do. Yeah, because well, <laughs> you have you have the Chinese superpower. No, because you have to deposit like a one million or two million, three million, like a few. Always, the, he asked me, Kelly, how much money I have to deposit this time? I said, oh, three million. It's okay. Oh, five million. You know, like London, I talked to him. Only one million pound. It's okay. Uh, London, he lost a lot of money. This casino, we go there. Uh, this is Phil Ivy you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, we just uh, I just say, oh, I need a purple car. Even they don't give the purple car, I still can use. Uh, it's not Jimmy Go like uh, Andrew. All the car, okay, no problem. But uh, I just say, oh, we superstition use purple car, you know. Now you came up with this idea yourself. I came with Phil. No, no. When you first came up with the idea, the, you. Is this idea? Is this you think of? Or is Phil think of? It's uh, me. Phil, he don't know. No, you because you played alone before you ever met Phil, right? Ah, uh, I pl- play. Uh, uh, yes. So when you came uh, up, I come out as the uh, the first beginning. I went to Palace Station. I see the one, uh, one guy. That's a high oh, roller spot. Uh, no, no, no. Well. <laughs> because the du- double day, uh, Palace Station is very good. Double day. Uh, yeah, the blackjack. I I want to play blackjack just. Uh, you, because blackjack double that you can use your hand, right? Right. You can very uh, automatic. You you can, you can turn. Sword it uh, you can yeah. sort the car. I used to do that too. <laughs> I go there. I see the one guy. I see they play different. You know why? Mm, I see it's uh, totally different. You know, it's not count the car. I know how do you count car. I know how do you do the SC green. But uh, he's now. You I just, saw somebody else. Yeah, doing I just this. watching uh, uh, play this. Uh, I think it's. Uh, Maybe this car have some, you know. I just bought a, a gift shop. That time, all the gift car, gift shop, they have car. Right. You can buy. Right now, they don't have. But I bought the car. I go. Uh, I go home. This is. Uh, it's not Jimmy Go. It's uh, B. The time B they used to be, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then I, f- I go home. I just uh, I bought this. Fun that thing. Magnifying glass. Yeah. Yes. The time I don't that. know. I use that. I say, oh, that's different. That's why you can. You can use the, you can, you know, yeah. do the shu. <coughs> but now, when you decided to do it at Baccarat. Baccarat is, uh, yeah, I by myself. I did think, you have somebody analyze mathematically which cards to turn and how big your edge would be? No, nobody told me because uh, I play Baccarat like uh, 20 years. I already know, uh, six, uh, seven, eight, nine. If you uh, four card, uh, four card down, Lay back, I can turn the uh, six. If now uh, only the window car see the one car, on, uh, I only can turn the seven, eight, nine. Because if uh, only one car and the window, six play player is n- no edge. I don't turn the six. If uh, six, uh, like uh, area, um, they can lay back four car down. I turn six also. Yeah. Right. But and you just came up with that on your own. You didn't have anybody analyze the numbers to say. No, nobody. So, do you know what your edge was? Mm, I know. Uh, like uh, mm, for uh, nine and the player uh, is like uh, uh, nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, right now, exactly, I I forget. But and the banker is like a uh, twenty twenty percent. Yeah, but mm, right now exactly the edge I forget, you know, I know. Mm. So before I played in this uh, edge shooting, I played the bad car, you know. And uh, first beginning, I p- you know the all the bugger, bugger is a day issue, right? Yeah, four hundred sixteen car. Uh, before the bugger, they will uh, count. Let let's say dealer hold this car. They, they, they put this car and, uh, you cut the shoe. Cut the shoe after you can, I can see the, the last car. The back of the back shoe. Back car, yeah, yeah, yeah. If a back car is a na, we only play one hand. It's not like uh, right now we play every hand. But this car only play bad car. Exactly, I know it's a monkey or a or na. 
before I play this like uh, uh two years, I play everywhere. Yeah, we uh, we make a lot of money. This uh, play this. Yeah, way. we but call that one card baccarat. So yeah, because you only know one card. Yeah, you only know bad card. Yeah, bad right. card. Yeah, only not not this card. But uh, you have to exactly the dealer count how much they left how much you have to exactly. If uh, one card wrong, you you play upside. Y- yes, yeah. that's a. That's a good move. This no, no too many, no casino. <laughs> we probably do. shouldn't be talking about it on the air, but. <laughs> 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 but you know, you know what? Remember I told you the story about when I was with Phil when she walked into the trailer. You look a little bit like Phil right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, you didn't tell that story on the air, but basically, Kelly walked into the trailer and Phil was like, "You have to leave." <laughs> Kelly's here. Oh. I, was, I was in there doing a story on Phil for Playboy. You walked into his trailer at the World Series, but you go, "Phil, baby," and he goes, "All right, you got to go." He, like he looked really. It was the only time I ever saw him look nervous the whole time I was with him. Oh, yeah. I see you before, yeah. He did not I want remember. me to stay while you were there. No, no. She, she, he didn't want me talking. Yeah. Yeah. So how many places did you play in Las Vegas before you approached Phil Ivey? I play uh, Aria. First, I play uh, MGM. Uh, and then play Aria, Paris, Shiza, and then uh, this uh, Rio. And did they bar you, or you were able to win money at all those places? And... That time they don't bother me, and then Church Island, and Palms, yeah. So you played a lot of places before and, approaching Phil, and then uh, Cosmopolitan. Yeah. Ah, and Cosmo. and what kind of numbers were you winning in those places? Mm, I mm, I won the most money. I think is uh, area. And like how much? One point five or one point three? I forget. Exactly. One point five million. Yeah. So, so why did you need Phil? I mean, I guess, I guess taking uh, down you know, ten million. Uh, why I need Phil? Because Eddie, he said that this Eddie could come out uh, area, and uh, say, oh, one one Chinese lady uh, play this, uh, just uh, lay back won the one point five million. Eddie, right away, he called me. He said, Kelly, it's you. I said, no. He said, yeah, it's you, I know. Nobody can do this, only you. He said, you want to make a big money? I can introduce few of it. Uh, he can put a, like a 10 million, 20 million, give you play. Uh, you give the half for him. I say, okay. Uh, if, um, if he can put money, uh, I play free roll. Why now? You know, I don't have to uh, deposit money, my money. And then, um, a few of the time, he, he just, uh, in Australia. Play us million. He won the uh, first place. He said, "Ah, oh, mm, I call him." He said, "You come over. Uh, just play. I have a, uh, like a s- right now. I have six million. Give you play." I said, six million is not enough. I need <laughs> ten million because he have to, he played uh, three hundred thousand a hand. If for uh, six million, you, you only can oh, yeah, play that's twenty hand. Yeah. yeah, but uh, <laughs> I say if uh, if uh, if lay back, no problem. I go play. I just, uh, I, I remember it's Chinese New Year. For, for us, Chinese New Year, very important. But I say, okay, I fly. I just fly to Singapore and then, uh, go to Australia with Eddie. So, the first day, uh, I don't play. I have to see the car, you know. And then. Angel cards in Australia? Angel. But yeah. very difficult. Different angel. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, I go to play. And uh, we lost like, uh, half million. And then he uh, he very mad. He said, "Eddie, you been the like a you guys is a hustler. Come here, hustle my money." I said, "Okay, I don't play. Mm, I give you this half million. And then uh, second, oh, after the this night, Eddie with uh, Phil go to play crabs. They lose three million and a half hour. <laughs> only only left uh, one point eight million left. Uh, six million only left. One point six uh, eight million." After a few say, hey Kelly, you own, uh, you, uh, you told me the truth, you can see that this car. I say, okay, you just give me, um, uh, uh, tonight, I want to, um, see this car. I go downstairs, I play small, I lock in the car. Yeah, uh, because uh, downstairs you can play 100, you know? Uh-huh. No, nobody see me, I just play 100, 100, I lock the car. 
Um, after the second day, I said, I know, I, I can see that, but uh, you don't have enough money. Only 1.8 uh, million. How do you, I can play? He said, Kelly, please, just play small, small, small. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, Eddie told me, Kelly, please, you play. If you don't make this money back, I lost few this friend. <laughs> he cried. No pressure. <laughs> He's quiet, Eddie. He's crying? Yeah. Eddie is a tall guy. He's very funny. He quiet. He said, Kelly, please, just, I know you, you, you can make money. If you don't make this six million, I lost few. Few is my very good friend. I said, okay, let's go play. We betting play small, like a, 20,000, 50,000 study. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 20, yeah. 50,000 a hand. And then 100, and then 200, 300. <laughs> After, uh, yeah, we, the time we make like, uh, only 4 million, I think. Yeah. The first time. It's a bad trip. Bad trip. <laughs> because they lost all the money, you know. Yeah. After, uh, sec- s- uh, second day, we go there play. Um, already we may make 4 million. After we go there play, uh, half hour, I see the casino manager come to talk to Phil. Uh, say, uh, talk to Phil and then I talk to Eddie. I said, oh, I, I, I have to leave. So why? I said, you, you see the manager coming. 100% have problem. I just leave. Uh, they talk to Phil. Say, Phil, how do you make this girl? Phil said, no, I, I don't know her. She downstairs, she play poker. She says she don't have money. She know how do you play bagger. If I want the money, give the 10,000 for her play poker. Say, what are you talking about? She's an international famous bugger player. She asked you 10,000? <laughs> say, you call her, come here, want to talk to her. I feel say, I don't know her. But at the time they give the money for us, this first day, uh, I play with Phil. After, uh, we just go to all the places uh, everywhere I yeah, play. So you played all over the world? Yeah. How was Macau? Macau uh, is... Uh, is it easy to get a Chinese-speaking dealer in Macau? I'll speak Chinese. <laughs> I don't need it. We just uh, request, uh, let's say, oh, I play Macau uh, last year. It's uh, not few. Few already cannot go to the casino, yeah. Uh, uh, last year, yes. I just... Uh, no, at the beginning, I called Phil. I said, Phil, uh, I go to Macau play right now. He said, no way. Uh, right now, the news come all the way, everywhere. I, I don't want to take this uh, whiskey. I don't want to play. Uh, I said, if I want the money, I don't give you. <laughs> he said, okay, go ahead. And then um, um, I f- found the Chinese uh, people, rich people, they put uh, like a, um, t- uh, 20 or 30 million. Uh, we request, we go to Galaxy, we play. Um, yeah, we still... We still do the last year. Yeah. It was still good. Mm. If they put up twenty or thirty, how much would they let you bet per hand? Uh, three million uh, Hong Kong dollar is like a half million, more than six hundred thousand per hand. Per hand. Yeah. Wow. What, what about when you came back? Remember, Phil asked you a question. I came back uh, uh, like uh, one week after. Phil said, "Kelly, you have to give me a free roll, twenty percent or ten percent." I said, "Why?" He said, "I know you already make money in the galas." I say, I first ask you, <laughs> want you deposit money? You say, no way. Uh, you, uh, the news come all everywhere. How do you play? And then uh, I say, no, I cannot give you 10%. So <laughs> can you say how much you want on the Galaxy play uh, that Phil wasn't a part of? No, partner, it's Chinese people, yeah. Yeah. And how, how much did you win? I don't have to say. Huh? No, no, you don't have to say. You don't have to say. But it was more than you won with Phil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> now yeah. you also had a um you had an incident in Connecticut. Can you talk about that? Connecticut? Oh uh, Connecticut Fox 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 yeah. Yes. Yes, in Connecticut uh, is uh, the ta- uh, I think it's uh, 2011. Mhm. 2011 and I went to their play is uh, September uh September. September. Uh, uh-huh. I go there play. I, I make like a half million. I come back, and uh, the uh, they said mm, Christmas. I go there again. Uh, it's uh, 2011 Christmas. I go there play. And, uh, with three people, we go there play. We deposit like a uh, 1.3 million. 
We won the 1.2, little bit more, 1.2. After um, second day, they don't, they don't give the um, money and then they, they, they put uh, uh, me in the room. They don't let me uh, leave. They say, oh, right now it's Christmas. We have to uh, waiting for the, uh, Jenny manager or casino manager come here and then give you money. F- and the four days in the room, after four days, they call the police, come to my room. And then they say, oh, Miss Sun, very, very low. They say, Miss Sun, uh, you have to give that money. Casino call us, you cheating. I say, okay, before you hang up me, go to jail or forever, you have to go to check the camera. And then mm, I call my lawyer. They don't want to answer the phone. The lawyer didn't want to answer no, the no, phone? No, no, no. This is the police. Ah. Uh, right away, I call lawyer. I say, talk to my lawyer. They say, no, we, uh, we don't want to talk to lawyer. We just want you to give the uh, chips and then they have a hang up. I say, okay, you go to check camera. And then, other way, I don't want to give the, mm, give, mm, give the money. And then they say, okay, they go to check four hours. They come down. They say, okay, mm, Miss Sun, you call your lawyer. You're not cheating. We said all the cam- camera, you not do anything mm, wrong. Okay, right now you call your lawyer. I call you, I call my lawyer. They talk to the lawyer. Say, oh, you have to both for mm, casino. You have to both for call the lawyer. And then, mm, uh, uh, anyway, uh, we just uh, call a lawyer. This lawyer, they cheated me. They worked in this uh, fax for, for 50 years. They asked me 50,000 lawyer fee. I give to him. And then three months after, Oh, after they send me go to New Year, uh, send me go to Apple. And then uh, three months after they say, Kelly, I'm missing you automatically, you lost. Because w- here is, uh, um, Indian reservation. It's different law. If you want to uh, uh, sue, you go to Spin Court. The 10 already I say the few. I say, I have this case, but I don't want to sue. Uh, just uh, 1.2 million. Um, I, w- I don't want to sue, just lost. Because if I sue the casino, all the casino, they know. And just wait. Yeah. So th- basically the casino just robbed you of $1.2 million. Yeah. Yeah. Casino always take a free roll. Like uh, this time I go to Vietnam and we deposit $1 million, but uh, it's not my name. My brother's name. We deposit $1 million U.S. dollar. Uh, beginning, uh, he, uh, he lost. Uh, we come in, they know who I am, and the Vienna is the MGM property. Of course they know. Uh, they don't care you lost uh, 300,000, 400,000. After we, uh, half hour, make uh, 300,000 back because I need to turn the car, you know. After uh, half hour, we make uh, all the money back, make uh, 300,000. They rather we come downstairs, they don't, they say, because, uh, uh, Miss Sun is here, we don't pay you money. My brother said, why? Uh, he, she's here, you know. I said, yeah, we know it's her, but uh, we don't care. She's here, but uh, she won money. She cannot. We cannot give you. Uh, if lost, they don't care. Just take. Right. Yeah. So they just stole your money again. Yeah. Well, one point two million here, three hundred thousand there. Pretty soon, this could turn out to be more than you make in a week, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, now at the Borgata. Don Johnson, friend of Phil Ivey's, he saw what was he saw you and Phil betting big. Mm-hmm. He didn't know what was going on, but he s- figured if it's a good enough play for Phil Ivey, it was good enough for Don Johnson. So he sat down, <laughs> and every if Phil bet on banker. Don bet on Baker. <laughs> if Phil bet on player, what is my Don guy? bet on player. <laughs> now, Phil right must have been giving him the finger or something. <laughs> How did Phil try to get rid of Don Johnson? Do you, re- do you remember this? I talked to Phil. I said, I don't want to Don Johnson play mm, with us. Mm, he said, oh, mm, it's, uh, he's my very good friend. I say, very good friend. I don't want to give the, him free <laughs> roll, right? <laughs> I, I turn, I turn the, you know. Uh, like a, mm, uh, because I uh, know Dan Johnson, if Dan Johnson with Phil play, they will make a big money. Casino will know, you know. If, uh, uh only Phil, maybe they don't know. If Dan, uh, he played us, uh, he never played 
bagger. He play blackjack. Right. Why? Why、uh, come here play blackjack? Play bagger very big. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, you better. So how did you、better. how did you get rid of him? I just took the field. I said if、uh, he play here, I don't want to play. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did it work? Yeah. D- Don left. <laughs> <laughs> huh? We have. No, I, I mean, that makes sense, right? If you get if you land on somebody's game and they tell you, hey, you know, take a hike. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I leave. Sometimes you don't. Uh, okay. Now there's a lot of different kinds of bakra, different rules, different games. Yeah. Uh, does that matter to you when you're doing what you do? What the rules of the game are, or is it all pretty much the same? Bagger is the same rule. No, like easy bag where they have the dragon bed.、Uh, e- easy bagger is just a、uh, dragon bed, yeah. Right, and there's no five percent commission on the banker. Yeah,、right? not five percent. So nothing、uh, changes. Nothing you. changes. You you can count the、uh, mm, e- easy bagger. You can count the dragon or panda dragon. You can count, and then you can play. Like let's say they cut like only twelve、uh, car or sixteen car, you can buy dragon. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then、uh, never mind. Study beginning, you don't have to buy dragon or panda. You know. Right. So the different variations don't matter to you at all. It's no, all the、no. same game. The most time I don't play dragon. Yeah. Now you've talked about Eddie a couple times. Eddie was a guy who wouldn't give you fifty dollars, but he said, "Go read a book on blackjack." <laughs> Eddie's a guy who said, "Eight decks、yeah. of cards." Eight decks of cards. Yeah, Eight I wonder if he、cards. got the cards for free, right? <laughs> <laughs> he told me all the provisional. You every day you have to have card and、uh, your purse. Yeah, cards in your purse. You、yeah. always must so carry. So instead、them. of slipping in a gun or something, <laughs> he slips、right. in decks of cards. <laughs> Now, did Eddie ever do anything good for you or help you? I mean, yeah, I, Eddie,、uh, he helped me a lot.、Uh, I come here, study beginning, I lost、um, and win. I lost two hundred thousand. I just、uh, they have a、uh, um, like a few rebate for me. I only four thousand left. I say,、uh, I go to I, I see the machine. I want to play some machine. I go to see Eddie play dollar machine, but、uh, he play very fast. I say, oh, this guy maybe professional. I go to talk to him. I say, "Hey, can you teach me play uh, black uh, play uh, video poker?" He lock me. He say, "Okay, no problem, beautiful girl."、Uh, yes. This is twelve years ago, and then you're not. You're still not bad. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he、uh, he、uh, he teach me, and then I say, "Let's go. We、we'll、go to eat." He say, "Where?" I say, "Win." He say, "No, no, no, no. Very expensive." I say, "All that they come." I said, "Come, I still have to pay tip. I don't want to eat."、Uh, so he, the, you could get a comp, but he didn't、yeah. have to pay the he tip. He said, "I have, I still have to pay the tip. <laughs> Very expensive." I said,、uh, "He said, let's go go to eat the cabbage." I said, "Okay, we eat." After you, we go to Venetian. He go to Halimi. He he buy the five hundred. He put the machine play twenty five thousand twenty five dollars a hand. Second hand, he won the Royal Flush hundred thousand. Uh huh. And then he said, "Oh, you have to be my girl girlfriend." Uh, uh, I'm professional. Right now, I'm three years never had had a Royal Flush. And then I say, "Oh, I lost I lost a lot of money. You give me some、uh, lucky money." He said, "No problem. I give you five hundred, but you have to send the paper. You owe me five <laughs> hundred." <laughs> <laughs> I send. <her> . <laughs> That's how you become his girlfriend. <laughs> and no, and then every day he don't play、um, bagger. He he's video poker professional. And then、uh, every day he went to win. He just change ten thousand, three hand loss, and then leave. He want to. Uh, uh, he said, "Please be my、um, girlfriend." And then every day buy some、um, pres a、uh, present for me. Give me the every day. And then、um, yeah, finally I just.、Uh, um, Uh, with him, like uh, uh, with Daddy, every every time the ten, I don't, I lost all the money. I don't have money. He teach me、uh, video poker. He want me working with him. I we go everywhere driving. He go give me like twenty dollar every hour. Twenty dollars an hour. Yeah, I working with him. He make like a, I make six hundred thousand. He only give me eleven、uh, hundred.、Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We should do a whole episode about stories about Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> he, and then he's a lot of money right now. He,、uh, we drive and go somewhere, and then we study. Uh, uh, we start have to eat. We go to eat chicken. 
He said, Kelly, eat this one. I said, how much? Oh, six, six dollar. I said, no, no, no. I want to eat this one. And then we, uh, it's eight dollar. After <laughs> one hour, he driving, never, never talk to me. He <laughs> said, uh, Kelly, oh, I said, hey, Eddie, what happened? He said, Kelly, I'm so mad at you. I said, why? He said, this eight dollar, same chicken, why you eat eight dollar? <laughs> you say, you, uh, you cost my two dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my husband oh, yeah. too. <laughs> my husband would not, uh, you know, stop, uh, step on the brake when he turns because that costs uh, extra money on gas. So anyway, we all like swerve around, and this is all our right. AP now, you, I, I, this is a brief digression, but <laughs> you have to tell the story while we're talking about famous cheap stories <laughs> about when you had a baby and you sent him to the store for surgical masks to <laughs> because somebody had a cold or something and you no, didn't no, want no, the baby no, to get I, sick no, no 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 i was cleaning his apartment and it was very dusty and i keep sneezing and i said uh, can we get some mask and then so he's like mumbled and he took me to a drugstore and then when he arrived at the drugstore he said what a ripoff why do they have to sell in a pack of three we just need one <laughs> okay and then he looked at the you know front of the store and he saw you know a uh, hundred coffee filters 99 cents for a hundred he said what's the difference you just put a rubber band on these things and put on your face it's just the same <laughs> <laughs> and then they have another funny story we went to montreal oh good <laughs> we won the half uh five million the night and then uh, uh, of course a few uh he's very mm, mm, Generous. Da oh. Yes. Phil. Uh, Phil, Phil is generous. very generous. Yeah. But not uh, any. Uh, not, uh, <laughs> we took the lemon. Uh, uh, he, uh, few, uh, stay at different uh, hotel. We stay at different hotel. Uh, few just, uh, uh we call the lemon. A few, uh, few first few, uh, leave. And then we have to, like, a uh, 10 minute we go to the, uh, hotel. Eddie said, Kelly, Kelly, we, uh, we go, we go, uh, go, go to the lemon. I said, why? He said, you, you, you go downstairs, I talk to you. And then, Oh, uh, go downstairs. I say, he said, go, go walk a little bit. I say, why? I, I, I have a very high shoes. Very mm, cold, windy, you know, Montreal. No way. You know, the, uh, we leave. We don't have to pay $20. Few pay the lemon <laughs> tip. <laughs> if, if we go to the hotel, I have to pay lemon the tip. <laughs> say, crazy. You know, I have to walk in like a half hour, go to hotel. You had to walk half an oh, hour yeah, to I save the $20 tip save $20. to I the we, limo driver. I already make a five million. Why <laughs> save this 20, 20 bucks? He said, you don't know. I don't want to pay. Feel pay. If you sit, sit down there, I have to pay. I said, I pay. No problem. And yeah. then <laughs> same day, we leave. Feel, uh, feel just leave first. Well, uh, I don't know what happened. We delayed, uh, delayed the flight. Yeah, and uh, immigration. They ask, uh, uh, yeah, immigration, they ask uh, him, he, uh, he's your girlfriend? He said, uh, I don't know her. He said, you don't know her? <laughs> uh, n- uh, because n- you guys sit down uh, together, uh, say you buy the ticket same. You use the credit card, buy the ticket for her. <laughs> After she said, I said, why you say you don't know me? He said, oh, uh, you have trouble before you, um, they told me you've been half a million, come here, they don't let you in. I scared they took me go to jail. I said, you crazy. And then uh, I said, we're a friend. Why are you scared about me? And then yeah, the American, oh, this uh, Connecticut, uh, Montreal, this uh, immigration, they took me and uh, him like uh, two hours. They said, we don't care you did the flight. After we de- delay the fly, fly we, uh, I bought it, I go to buy a ticket. He said, no, 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 this uh, 2000 is first class too much. I already buy it. He said, cancel, cancel. We have to take it in Kulumi. Uh, only three hundred dollar. You know he's a very very cheap guy, but uh, he's nice. He's a very rich guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you know one thing is though, Kelly has gotten her revenge because I've been out for dinner with Kelly and Eddie, and who always pays when you go out for dinner with Eddie? Uh, I uh, Eddie pay. <laughs> <laughs> she always makes Eddie pay. If they go out now, he has to pay, so he's slowly <laughs> paying it back. <laughs> All right, we are talking <laughs> with Kelly and with also Michael and Lori for, d- and we're going to take a brief break uh, for some commercials, and then we're going to be right back, and we got more questions for her.
The South Point has more than 10,000 games returning more than 99%. This is more than anybody else has. From Monday through Thursday throughout April, you may earn free buffets. Play 300 points and swipe before 2 p.m. to earn a lunch buffet. A total of 600 points is required for a dinner buffet, whether you've already picked up the lunch buffet or not. Buffets are good Monday through Thursdays and do not have to be used on the same day earned. They all expire May 4th. The free senior tournaments are now on Mondays. You get one free entry just because, and you can earn up to two more by, paying, by playing 300 points each. So if you're playing for the buffets on Monday and you're of age, you'll get the tournament entries for no extra play. A total of $1,500 is being given away every week. At videopoker.com, it's the best place to play lots of games. If you sign up for the gold membership, $8.95 a month or $79.95 a year, this allows you to get corrections on most games. The game of the week is Ultimate X. This is 10 coins per line game where you get paid on the basis of five coins multiplied by whatever multipliers are in effect. You earn the multipliers by ending up with paying hands on the previous play. Strategy is complicated. Good strategies for several of the Ultimate X games may be found on the wizardofodds.com website, and every semester I teach one of these games. The next semester of classes at the South Point will probably start in August and will include Double Double Bonus Ultimate X, a game that returns more than 99.8%, and it comes with a sky-high variance. Okay, we're back. Uh, now, Kelly, did you have any interesting nicknames that the casinos called you for what you did? It's not casino, but the, all the, like a few and the Eddie, uh, let's say my, uh, one time, one day, my, my birthday, I remember just uh, after birthday the, the, in the morning, I was sleeping. Uh, Eddie just, uh, um, uh, checking the door, said, Kelly, Kelly, let's go, let's go. We have a private jet already waiting for you. I said, I'm drunk, I'm sleeping. I said, no, you know we I said, I don't have clothes, no makeup. I said, who care? You are background machine. Let's go. Feel waiting for us. Your background go to, machine. Go to background or go to uh, uh, Bogada. We have to uh, over there five million waiting for us. You don't. You don't need a makeup. You don't need a dress. Don't need clothes. No clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just. Uh, With your eyes. They just took me go to uh, Apple and then we fly to there. Yeah, uh, I said, this is your birthday, you have to make a five million. But, uh, Eddie, I think he, he <laughs> Happy have birthday, a, give me five million. Yeah, he <laughs> have a little bit. You know, he, my, uh, he always thinking, this come to true. And then, uh, uh, after five hours, he called me, he said, how much you, you, you already make a five million? I said, yes. I said, leave, leave, leave. Don't make more money. If a few want to play, you don't play, you just leave. And then, all the time, he told me it's true. He told me, he said, Kelly, if you make uh, more than the 10 million, casino don't pay you, few don't pay you. You only, you always make a 3 million, 5 million, you just leave. This Smart advice. Yeah. 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 Now, which brings us to London where you <laughs> broke won more than no, 5 million. <laughs> I made a 5 million, uh, 3.8 million uh, pound, right? I talked to a uh, few, I said, I'm not, uh, we leave. I don't want to play. He said, Kelly, this is, uh, I lost a lot of money this casino. You don't have to worry. I want to make a 20 million leave. He know this uh, mm, very, very good, the car. And then he said, I know you can make a 20 million for me. Uh, I said, no, I don't want to play. I just leave. After he said, Kelly, please, make another 5 million, we leave. Mm, we make another 5 million, I leave. He still don't want to leave. <laughs> He's greedy, you know. Now, <laughs> now he is so nice to you. Does he? Uh, did he earn a, a percentage of this game? What kind of percentage would he get? Did he get five percent, twenty percent. Are you Eddie. talking about Phil? Eddie. Oh, Eddie. Eddie have ten percent. Eddie got ten percent because uh, he introduced me. See the field. This uh, I give the free uh, free uh, money for him. Uh, he introduced me, and then I say, uh, "How much you want?" He said, "How much you give me?" I say, "Okay, just ten ten percent." Mm. So, he got 10% of $5 million in Montreal, but didn't want to pay $20 to tip the limo no, driver. No, 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 20, yeah. <laughs> now, 
<laughs> on the uh, I heard something. Gambling has the weirdest people in the world. <laughs> right now, he have uh, 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 two children, one boy, one girl. The this uh, Cambodia, this girl ask her, ask her him uh, his money. He told me, Kelly, uh, you told me what happened. I don't want to uh, sp- uh, support this kid. This too much money. Uh, I want to only give the twelve hundred, but uh, she want to two thousand. I said, this is this is UK. You have to two thousand. So why you give? You have a lot of money. He said, no, it's a whole life. Uh, I ha- I want to only pay twelve hundred. <laughs> the man, you know. <laughs> now, <laughs> there was the uh, the court mm. cases were both in Atlantic City on the Borgata, but also in London at Crockford's. Now. Eddie was talked about during the trial when they s- apparently you had some expenses and you said Eddie got half million or whatever it was. Yeah, where the judge asked about Eddie. My my understanding is that that you were asked that Kelly, you guys were asked, oh yeah, how much did you win? And you said, I think you originally said, oh, eleven million, you know, U.S. And then it was like, oh yeah, but what about the money we gave to Ed? What about the money we gave to Eddie? Nah, in the uh, London and uh, the court, uh, the judge asked me, uh, Kelly, uh, you make a uh, uh, eleven million or twelve million or seven or uh, thirty million. How much? Uh, how much money you got? I said I got half with a few chap. And then he said, who is Eddie? This guy. They already know Edward Tim. Oh, I said Edward Tim's got a ten percent. After other teams got a uh, forever this money like a ten million or twenty million, she, he got a ten percent. He said, "Why he got a ten percent?" I said, "Oh, because uh, he cleared the luggage." He said, "But n- all the lawyer the church they laugh and I said, okay, Kelly, I don't want to work. I go to get clear your luggage." <laughs> 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 you know, every time we we went to, uh, you know why? I said, "Clear luggage." Me and the few just uh, leave. He always carry six luggage or seven luggage. <laughs> he don't even uh, uh, take the car. He take a train. Or s- <laughs> 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 I hope you didn't keep the bankroll in the luggage. <laughs> you don't have to worry. He's a very tall, very tall guy. <laughs> big guy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and forgive John. <laughs> I, I, I don't like know. He's the angel compared to Eddie. <laughs> both, uh, both Eddie and John have sat through my video poker classes. Maybe I caused all this. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> they both make you look very sporty, Bob. Oh, no, I, no, I didn't realize who you are. You, you, you know, mm, one day I meet you in the. Um, uh, Eddie wanted me to go talk to you, and this uh, 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 you go to talk to this guy. I don't want to talk to him. I said, why? He said, he teaches me play video poker. He hates me. <laughs> and then, I hate what? him? Yeah. He said, you go to ask him, uh, teach you play video poker. He talks to me. And then I go to, uh, I go to uh, s- uh, sit down there. I, I watch you play. But I don't ask him, you teach me. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Well, that could have been. I uh, <laughs> I don't remember that evening. I do know that I was quite married at the time. And Why did you uh, hate him? Because he was cheap to you too? I'm sorry? <laughs> she said uh, that Eddie thinks uh, that you hate him. I, no, I actually don't really. I mean, we have very little contact, and uh, he generally doesn't seem to like to talk to me, which is fine. He has his own secrets and things, and he's he's gone on quite he's quite successful. I mean, he took the classes I don't know fifteen years ago, and he's quite successful in his own right. I haven't really had any dealings with him in fifteen years. But, but no beef. <laughs> yeah, there's no. Uh, but insofar as whether I would take on a a pretty girl as a private student, my wife would always have a vote in that. <laughs> and um, my guess is that it wouldn't have, wasn't going to happen. It, uh, it's different when uh, Eddie was single and was willing to do it than um, me being married. Um, how is edge sorting in Baccarat different than edge sorting in blackjack? That's the different blackjack. You can use, you can you turn yourself, but the, and the table have to be two people. 
Why did there have to be two people? Uh, two people uh, just uh, very fast. Yeah, you 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 turn the uh, you turn the car fast, and uh-huh. then uh, one bed big, one bed small. So, did you play a lot of blackjack as well? Uh, yeah, before I play a lot uh, in the Paris, uh, in French, I play a lot of blackjack. After they don't let me play, I come to America. So also, you can bet so much more money at baccarat than you can at blackjack. Uh, uh yeah, baccarat you can bet like a three hundred half million. Like a Singapore, we bet one million. One million Singapore yuan is uh, close to uh, close one million. Yeah, blackjack you per only can per hand. You can bet hand. a million dollars. Yeah, a hand. and the Montreal we we bet the uh, like a uh, uh, blackjack. You only can bet twenty five thousand. Oh, you can't make any money doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you play baccarat, you don't want to play blackjack. You know, one of the interesting things I remember I was ta- speaking with Richard about you when we first started doing the story for the Sunday Times, and um, he said he he said he goes like what what's so brilliant about the play is that you applied it to baccarat, the game where you can bet huge sums and where the casinos don't sweat it. The way, like they're used to people paying that kind of money, and and they don't sweat the action at Baccarat, especially if you're Chinese. It helps. Well, until now, <laughs> right? I mean, no, I mean, uh, now if somebody is winning a lot of money at Baccarat, like they didn't know the game could be beat. That's what it was. You know, I hate it. Just uh, people, uh, even Eddie, be beginning they say. You you look at these Chinese stupid people. All the play uh, uh, baguera very stupid. I talk to him. I say Chinese people are not stupid. You know you say the one day I I will be the casino baguera. He said no way. I don't believe you. Uh, he always told me you see stupid. And he gets ten percent for this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right now he said in my whole life no no girl no woman even my mom he said no woman won this big money for me. He told me. He said only you, and uh, I said right now you don't see Chinese stupid people. He said no, right now I don't see. <laughs> he always um, not not only Eddie but uh, uh, in the casino, all the uh, white well, that's, people. That's good that the casino think that. They see Chinese is stupid play background. So, so Kelly really worked for the Chinese pride. Yeah, now <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> You know, that's actually, because I, I think Barry Greenstein, he said that about poker. He said one of the great, was he the one who said it? Somebody said that one of the great things about poker is if you have prejudices, it, it destroys you. Like if you think because somebody's a certain race or a certain religion that they're going to conform to that, you're going to lose all your money because they won't do that. And it's the, it's the exact same thing with the casinos, that they think, oh, everybody who's Chinese is superstitious. They got what they deserve for being such That's idiots. That's why I call it a superpower. I mean, being Asian I- in a casino is a huge advantage. And being a woman, I think, is a big advantage as yeah. well. See, this is a Chinese woman, two uh, Chinese uh, women, very... Uh, it's very successful, Chinese <laughs> women. Yeah, very so, successful. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> yes, I mean, uh, when, when we... When I was in the MIT team, and I was the least likely to succeed because uh, should be all the white boys should do it, and I was at the bottom of the food chain. And then uh, now John calls me uh, one of the most dangerous enemies of the casino. I said, "Wow, such a compliment!" <laughs> and uh, I said, "Well, what would you rate me twenty uh, some years ago when I first started out of uh, ten? He said, "Oh, I never thought about that. Well, I'll give you two, maybe three." Definitely not four. And uh, so, and then... He and must then, have thought you were marriage worthy or something. <laughs> <laughs> must have been a 10 somewhere. Well, uh, well, uh, not on math, uh, <laughs> nor on arithmetic. And so uh, it w- I'm very bad at arithmetic. Not so bad at math, but very bad at arithmetic. And so many people uh, thought... I had to be a mathematical genius. Uh, I must love gambling. I said, I don't love gambling. I just love money. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so uh, if this thing, you know, gets me money, somehow I'll make it work, you know, even with my terrible arithmetic. And so the thing is, in Chinese people, uh, I, I, once I, I, I learned a system, I realized it doesn't take a genius. It's just like a dealer. I mean, they're an advantage player. They don't know crap, you know. They just need to follow the instructions. And uh, they were like a high school graduate will do if they do what they told to do. 
Uh, it's a similar thing.、Mm. So that you know, you can teach a tenth grader to be a,、um, a dealer, and so can you teach you know somebody to be a professional blackjack player like myself. Tenth grader will do. And my、uh, and John asks. A twenty-one-year-old tenth grader, <laughs> <laughs> and then and John asks、uh, my son and to say, "Hey, don't you want to learn some, you know,、uh, card counting?、Uh, so when you when you,、um, you have the right age, and、uh, and my son who's not very good at math, according to John, then he goes, 'Mommy can do it. I can do it.' <laughs> 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 and that's why I guess I don't scare off a lot of people because if I can do it, anybody can do it." Do you, do you still have games you can play, Kelly? Oh yeah, yeah. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Can I go with you, or <laughs> you want to carry her luggage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right. This has been a real fun show. We've been talking to Kelly and help with Lori and Michael. Thank all three of you. Thank you, Richard. Go out and hit lots of royal flushes, everybody. Good day. <laughs>